for a top local story tonight. State police and the attorney general's office are investigating the circumstances surrounding the death of a local man. We've learned he died following a struggle with police. And tonight we're hearing with the victim's neighbors from the East Bay Mobile Newsroom. Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sotnik joins us in Portsmouth now with more. Well, police say that struggle happened right in front of this Portsmouth apartment building and neighbors that we spoke with watched it all happen. I was uh, like crazy. Neighbors at the Bayview Estates apartment complex scared. describe how they say 25-year-old Craig Raposa of Portsmouth was acting on Friday afternoon. He was out of control, just screaming, fighting. I mean, it came so bad where his pants actually came off of him. Police say they were called to an apartment there for a medical call. Who was having that problem? We don't know. But that's when police say Raposa became unruly. I had asked the officer, where was all the help? And he said he couldn't get any help because the guy knocked the walkie-talkie out of his hand. Neighbors tell us they couldn't subdue him. Police even pepper sprayed him. Two paramedics and a police officer was trying to hold the man down, trying to restrain him so that the officer could put handcuffs on him. The postman tried helping him also, and uh, they were holding him down, and all of a sudden he didn't move anymore. About 20 minutes struggle went on, and then all of a sudden the man just stopped moving. Police say Raposa was taken to Newport Hospital, but they say it's not clear when he died. Neighbors crediting police with swift work. I thought the officer myself did a pretty good job, considering it was him against this large man. But they say something is a little unsettling to them. The man was laying there, I'd say, for about good 15, 20 minutes, and nobody was, you know, he just stopped moving. And no, I did not witness him doing any CPR. That's one thing I have to say. He was very professional. The only thing I understand was they did not to CPR or anything on him. And at this point, we're told that Raposa's autopsy is still not complete. We can tell you that Rhode Island State Police and the Attorney General's Office are handling this investigation. Reporting from the East Bay Mobile Newsroom from Portsmouth, I'm Catherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.